I'm Anita Shortland. I'm an Australian mixed media painter and thanks for checking out this video. I've made a bit of content over the last few years on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and all of the places, just kind of putting my feelers out and seeing what works and what's interesting and useful to people. I really love to share my work and I find it adds another element to my practice and helps me build connection with other artists and with collectors and just people who are interested in art and how it's made. So I thought I'd try and make a bit more content again. It's been a bit challenging lately uh, with life and other commitments to make content and even uh, to finish paintings. I think unless I've had a finished painting to show, I feel like I've got nothing to share, whereas actually I really enjoy watching other artists process and behind the scenes and little snippets of their, their life and their practice and just their whole thought process and who they are. I think it adds just a really interesting element that all goes into the, um, their final work. So I'd like to share a bit of that with you as well. Also a couple of things, um, not only am I not going to be always showing finished work, perfect stuff, I'm also not going to be looking perfect or finished. This is not about social media perfection. This is just raw and real and um, just everyday person, everyday artist doing her thing. Um, if I have to do my hair and my makeup before I shoot content or show my face, it is not going to happen in my downtime. I have to do all that for work. Um, when I'm home and when I'm in my studio and in my painting zone, that's what I want to be focusing on. So we're all just going to have to deal with this. So what I plan to produce is just a weekly warts and all, come as you are, behind the scenes type video. You could call it a studio vlog. I think vlog sounds really funny in an Australian accent especially. Um, but a weekly behind the scenes, be real if you like, uh, of what's been happening uh, in my art practice particularly and maybe a little bit um, of what goes on around that as well. So let me tell you about this week. Um, it's been incredibly um, busy and challenging week for me on a number of fronts and I haven't had um, a lot of time for my art practice but I'm very committed to my art practice so what that looks like is um, <clears throat> sometimes just coming home from work and spending even just 20 minutes working on a painting or um, yesterday was Saturday I went out for brunch with my husband and while he was ordering coffee I spent maybe five minutes drawing a pepper shaker on the a pepper grinder on the table um, so it can be very small snippets during my week um, but I take every opportunity I can years ago I a couple of years ago um, I did a piece that I really love which I'll show you uh, which was a very loose floral piece and it wasn't that I'm particularly interested in loose florals or a fan of loose florals or that I want to brand myself as a loose florals artist. Um, it was a piece I did just for absolute pure joy and relaxation. Uh, I was really on a high after having a really successful exhibition opening the night before. It had been six months of really um, concerted effort to get all of the work done for that show. Uh, in the lead up to the opening, the installation, I had worked uh, 40 hours straight, yes, 40 hours straight, no sleep, finishing all of the varnishing and um, the wires on the backs of the paintings and all of that kind of stuff. Story for another time. Um, but after the opening, I was just on a high. I was, it had gone so well. I was so relaxed, so happy, so satisfied. Um, a friend had given me some beautiful flowers and just for pure fun I decided to just sit down and, and paint them in this really loose and abstract way. Um, I, I can and, and have in the past spent hours doing very realistic detailed drawings uh, but at the end I don't feel like it's me, I don't feel like it's interesting. Um, I love um, 
realistic work. I have friends who produce beautiful, realistic images uh, that I would love to have on my wall, but it's not something that I want to do. I'm really interested in quirky and, and unusual and colourful and, and what I um, find, I suppose, uniquely interesting in, in a way. So um, that's what I do. And um, for a long time, I've sort of tried to reproduce that painting in different media and um, the results have never quite worked out so well. I think there's something that happens when you try too hard, <laughs> that things start to look really stiff or they just don't work um, when you're just not in that flow. So I have a piece on my easel at the moment that's kind of a loose floral that I'm trying to give the same sort of feel to, but in different kind of mixed media and um, bits of it are working, bits of it not so much, um, but I spent some time after work this week uh, working on that piece particularly, and I made a, a fun discovery. I'm really fond of yellow ochre. I use it a lot in my mixes and in my grounds, uh, but this week just on a whim when I was working on that floral, I played with some acrylic ink that was Indian yellow, and I really loved it really like golden happy color so that's something that I want to play with a bit more. Um, I'll show you a couple of sketches that I did during the week just when I had a few minutes. Um, I like working over old sketches, uh, scrapbooks, old notebooks, anything that I, if I don't care too much about the surface uh, it gives me a greater sense of freedom that I can't mess it up and so often I'm much happier with the result. It gives me good reference material. Uh, so I'll show you some of those. Here is the Indian yellow. Uh, I've sort of used it as a glaze a bit in other parts, but that's it there. You can see some of the lovely texture here that I really enjoy, um, which to me this is almost looking like oil paint, it's actually acrylic, but it's just what I mean by painting over, you recognise that, so maybe the hair, um, okay. so yesterday I went into town, I was planning uh, to do some drawing before I met up with a friend, and I found a beautiful shady spot. It was a hot day, but there was a lovely breeze. I was near the water under some trees, but I just couldn't quite settle to it. Uh, sometimes uh, I think it's to do with um, yeah. yep, yep. a bit of an insight into how my brain works, I guess. Sometimes it feels a bit scrambled. Uh, and yesterday it, that was sort of coming out in my sketching. And sometimes when um, I'm in that place I find it helps just to do some blind contour drawing or just start to make some marks and then as I persist it's like my brain settles down, I get into the flow and I start to um, enjoy what I'm doing and produce work that I'm happy with but uh, yesterday that was just not happening. So um, last night after I came home, had had some dinner, sat on the couch, I grabbed this you know, really ugly, disastrous, nothing sort of page that had some, a few outlines on it and some scribbled notes uh, and I just painted right over the top of that a still life uh, and I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. It's really loose, you can see these weird marks underneath from what was there before um, but there's something really fresh about it and uh, the orange in the foreground even though it's really just loose and slapdash and you can sort of if you turn it sideways and you squint a bit, you might sort of see a blind contour of a car. Um, but even despite all of that, the orange to me looks really fresh and juicy and three-dimensional and like I just want to reach in and pick it up off the page. So that was a fun little exercise. So here is just a bit of a sketch of a car that I did earlier that day. sketchbook page that I wasn't very happy with, it wasn't very useful. So um, when I got home last night and I set myself up a little still life in the lounge room, um, this is what I came out with. Um, this is just a really cheap paper as well, very cheap. Um, I got it from Aldi. But I 
actually it stood up to the water-based gouache pretty well. Um, so just for a scrappy sketchbook, perfectly fine. Um, this is, let's see, there's Tombow marker. So the original sketch underneath was Tombow marker. Then with my still life, I sketched some outlines in with Tombow. And then I got out my water-based rewettable um, gouache. I use Art Spectrum, love it, um, to block in the colour, just really loose, uh, came in over the top with a bit of Inktense pencil in a couple of places and a bit of this um, black streaky, you know, it's kind of the wood grain and stuff, that's um, Posca, Posca pen, Posca markers, the big uh, chunky one, this is a little bit of white Posca there. I could have used gouache or left the paper blank. I think that's just the paper peeking through there. Um, but I was quite happy with this for a really loose kind of um, fun sketch. I love the diagonal kind of lines, um, the balance. The camera probably doesn't pick it up really well, but this is like a blue plastic, like a um, blue sticker label thing on the orange uh, which kind of balances out the blue. This uh, vase here uh, looks all wonky. It actually is all wonky. It's um, one of my um, beautiful boys made it when he was at school. Um, actually those paintings behind me are not mine but um, ones that my son did at school several years ago as well. So anyway, um, I just I love quirky, funky art, as you can tell. So, I hope that's interesting for you. So, this sketch is on stone paper, which is transparent. You can see that sketch on the other side. Um, but it's just a loose pencil sketch. This was just a really quick while I was waiting uh, for something. And, um, yeah, it's just going to stay unfinished probably. There's the pepper grinder. Uh, as you can see, not perfect, just quick and loose. Um, it's how I fit my art into my life. So that was kind of my week. Uh, it's Sunday morning now, so I'm going to kind of get into um, another week. There will be drawing, there will be painting, there will be life. Um, Nothing finished to show you this week, but um, hopefully it's been interesting for you to see some behind the scenes, some of the process, some of what just goes in a sketchbook and never sees the light of day, but it all informs the final paintings. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in future videos. Thanks. Bye.